What if I showed you where you stand, you belong? And what if I told you there really is no right or wrong? You've been banging your fist against a plexiglass ceiling. I'm Chris Matthews, a resident of Herndon, Virginia, the D.C. suburbs. We're here today at Incredible Lincoln Center for the new song, music competition. Like water carving stone, you wield your power quietly, give up. Or get up, get let down, or get out. Do nothing or do something you I first started out uh, with music, like most most Southerners, singing music in the gospel choir at church. Shortly after that, started playing uh, clarinet in band and was a hardcore band nerd, very proud to say that. And so I decided to uh, go to school for music education. So I went to Appalachian State University. Above our fears, we are, we are, we are. We are Imagineers, don't think we've given up on dreams. One day, out of the blue, my best friend, who is a percussionist in this band, was like, we need a keyboard player for the night. I said, it's, it's cool, I play keys. I can probably get you through the gig, so I'll do it. I played that one gig with them, and it was the most incredible night ever. And so I went home after that and decided to write my first song uh, on keys. And so I wrote my very first song, entered it in the, the campus talent show, just on a whim, and uh, won first place and won like 500 bucks. I was just like, oh man, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> so I just kept writing, uh, kept writing songs um, over the next little while, and then eventually it became really apparent that it is much easier to travel with a guitar than it is with a heavy keyboard. And so I taught myself guitar, just kept on writing songs, and the, the rest is history. It's just been writing and playing nonstop ever since. Oh, oh. We are, we are, we are. We are Imagineers, the ones who still believe in magic, the ones who rise above our fears. We are, we are, we are. My songwriting process is pretty organic. Most of the time it's something that is either just struck me a, a specific type of way that I really just kind of need to vent about or am feeling very passionately about and just sit down and write it. It can be anything from just typical love and life type inspirations and situations to a lot of social justice issues and things like that. So. It really, I just kind of go where the pen leads me. Performing is everything. Just being able to know that you're connecting with another human being and making them think and making them feel things that they may not have ever even considered before is just the most incredible motivation and inspiration ever. It's, I don't I don't think anybody would be an indie singer-songwriter for any other reason than that connection. It's just so powerful. You know, if I can take a tough subject and make somebody think about something in a different way than they ever have before, then I've done my job as a songwriter. Getting to, to play with some pretty incredible people, uh, songwriters, singer-songwriters that I look up to quite a bit, uh, like Chris Parika, uh, Melissa Farrick, Liz Longley, people like that, and getting to share a musical space with them. That's a really incredible feeling um, for me. And I think in the next chapter, I hope to be able to take it up to just another level and be able to be playing even bigger stages. Three years passed when he should, Joe was proud of his rebel ways. He had mighty big dreams, so he worked all he could, made his fortune, made himself a name. The experience with New Song so far has been phenomenal. I've met some super nice folks, very, very talented. I can't wait to hear everybody's music tonight. I'm actually looking forward to being in the audience for a lot of it. It hasn't felt like any kind of cutthroat, like what I sometimes think probably American Idol felt like, I guess, for a lot of folks. It's just been so nice. Everybody's just so supportive of everybody, finding out where they're from, you know, asking them, have you played this room? Have you thought about playing this room? Most of us seem to, to know that this is something special and feel so very honored to be part of it. While the other stayed out of harm's way And he gave his brother's name to his firstborn son Thought his youngest would be president one day George Washington Toombs had a daughter named May, 
And Playing then, at Lincoln Center is phenomenal. There's not a lot now that I can call home to mom about and have her still scream like I just told her I won like the college championship of whatever. And she totally screamed when I told her I was playing League and Center. She was so happy for me and just so proud. So many amazing artists come through Lincoln Center and so to be able to say I've walked where other people like that have walked is just so incredible. Having that on a resume definitely will help folks take me more seriously. So it's pretty awesome. To understand is that sometimes they're one and the same. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.